Hey, 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 YouTube, it is your girl, and I am here with a what's in my hair video. I haven't done a video like this in a minute. So, um, yeah, you guys wanted to know what is going on with my hair right now. As you can see, my hair is so soft and and kind of like fresh looking. Actually, this is um, six, about five or six days old. So I've had my hair like this for a minute. Now I will go ahead and explain to you everything that I have done to my hair over the past basic week. Let me take my glasses off so we can get into it. Um, so I wanted to kind of zoom out so you can kind of see my hair and what's going on with my hair so this is my natural hair um, if you were to pull it down it will go off camera yeah my hair um, this is right above the ear and it's yeah <laughs> it's it's gotten long but again I have shrinkage um, about my hair I have fine thin 4a naturally curly hair um, I have been natural for I want to say about four years now um, the length in the back it is bra strap length a little bit past well it's past bra strap length but it's still kind of hard for me to reach back there and pull my hair down I still am a plus size girl so um, yeah it's definitely below bra strap length in the back when I straighten my hair um, I straighten my hair maybe in the past twice maybe three times a year now that um, I'm on my fourth year I'm going to be straightening my hair a little bit more I kind of know how and have found products that help with heat damage and I have I have not had heat damage since I've been straightening my hair occasionally so it should not um, change anytime soon um, let's see so let's get into now that you know about my hair <laughs> Oh, and I have a sensitivity to wheat protein. My hair does not like wheat protein. I live in Los Angeles. As far as the humidity and using um, humectants and things like that, I have to wait to spring. It is springtime. My hair actually flourishes in spring. Um, so I, <laughs> my hair grows a lot in springtime and like springtime only. Any other time, my hair is pretty much in hibernation mode and it really like grows slowly. But in springtime, my hair print you know it grows faster um, with each season I do use different things on my hair and I treat my hair differently um, depending on the seasons the weather things like that so I had it took a minute for me to learn my hair so um, for the most part my hair is either flat twist out um, in a bun um, or under a, under a wig and soon to be this starting this year it's going to be going a little bit more straight every so often so that's pretty much the way i rock my hair I, i'll rock it bust down the middle part it to the side i will rock it with a flower in it um things like that just pretty much low manipulation i protect my ends by using um butter based products um like shea butter mixes and butters that i make at home and butters that i make for sale um, during the springtime, I use more creams than, um, anything, creams and gels. And so, yeah, let's get into what's in my hair. <laughs> I think I need to do a separate video on how I change my hair care routine with each season. That probably would be a good video to do. But, um, let's talk about what's in my hair right now. So, again, this is about six days old. Again, here is my hair. This is the end of the day, so yes, some shrinkage has occurred. It is almost 6 o'clock at night. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much in and done for the day. Um, I've done housework and everything with my hair out. I shot some videos. I did some editing to my blog. I uh, washed clothes. So yeah, this is the end of the day. So shrinkage has definitely occurred. Um, and yeah, these are my end of the day results um so i shampooed my hair using the bowl bean goat's milk and honey pool bar i will definitely do a separate review um with that as far as um using pool bars and things from bowl beam i absolutely love their products um that's pretty much my holy grail shampoo bar company um next i conditioned my hair kind of conditioned slightly detangled my hair i do like to detangle my hair in the shower it just works like that for me 
Um, so I conditioned my hair with my She Scented Avocado Conditioner, which <laughs> I finally finished my gallon of it. It is a holy grail conditioner for me. Um, that's a conditioner that I can use so many different ways. Co-wash, rinse out condition, leave in, and sometimes I can deep condition my hair with it. So very 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 versatile and it's a holy grail conditioner for me after that I did do a thorough deep condition um, with my Karen's body beautiful luscious locks hair mask which again is a holy grail deep conditioner for me um, on Monday night is when all of this occurred so um, Tuesday going to work I actually left the deep conditioner in my hair I kind of plaited my hair and I put a wig on top um, Tuesday night I came back home I like lightly rinsed my hair out and then I applied my curl junkie curl rehab um, a lot of people use this as a deep conditioner but I use it again I like things that are multifunctional so I use this as a leave-in this time around um, the scent that I absolutely love is the strawberry scent and I use <sighs> The Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. I am in the middle of saying goodbye to this because they did change the formulation of it. Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic is no longer, it is no longer on my Holy Grail list. Um, one of the reasons why is because it now contains glycerin and it contains wheat protein. Anything with wheat protein in it um, for my hair... Nine times out of ten, it breaks my hair off and dries my hair. I'm not going to put my hair through that, and I'm not going to pay $25 to play in a product that nine times out of ten is going to break my hair off. So I do have the original formulation or the original formula, the original Curly Magic. It is down to here. This is not my last bottle. I do have one more, and while I was visiting my mom, I checked her stash, and she has half a bottle which will soon become my half a bottle. I'm sorry, Mom. I love you. But, yeah, I'm going to have to jack you for that curly magic. I'm so sorry, Mom. Hi. So, um, I definitely will replace it. I'm going to be replacing it with the, um, um, what do you call it? The Curl Junkie Pattern Pusher. That is the number two lineup as far as a multifunctional gel that I use that doesn't have glycerin and does not have wheat protein in it. The only thing um, with the uh, Pattern Pusher is I don't get quite enough elongation with it like I've tried in the past however now that my hair is below bra strap length when I stretch it out and this is in its curly state it when it's no, when I first take it out my hair is like this so as you can see it rubs on my clothes and most of the time my clothes is cotton and that can cause um, single strand knots and things like that so I'm not as worried about the elongation anymore as I was when I first went naturally curly so pattern pusher <laughs> definitely is about to be my holy grail i am going to place an order for some more and i'm going to test it out again because I, I am out of it so i just want to test it again before i make the final announcement of my replacement for the curl for the uh, curly magic so yeah it's a little bit of that is in my hair um and that was done on tuesday night and what i did is i flat twisted my hair in six sections initially I did it when it was down the middle so three on this side and three on that side and I kind of stretched it with bobby pins but when I stretch mine over I don't um, bobby pin it at the tips I kind of just bobby pin it here so I'm not causing a lot of stress on my ends and I just put it there so then this is kind of free and when I take it down, because um, I, I also butter my ends as well, um, I don't get as many single strand knots and things like that. Um, and Wednesday night, Thursday night, I pretty much just refreshed my hair using <laughs> this hair water bottle. So this is one thirds um, oil and handmade Greg juice, and the rest is all water. Um, this has glycerin in it and I know um, about the dew points and everything here in Los Angeles right now and this is this is fine for me to start using um, because you know with the different dew points 
you want the moisture to draw the moisture out of the air and bring it to your hair and not the other way around. You don't want the glycerin and the humectants in it to draw the moisture from your hair and put it out into the air, you know, causing dryness and causing breakage. Um, so on Friday night, um, I decided I was going to start shooting videos on Saturday. So let me go ahead and do my hair really, really cute. So I parted it to the side. Um, again, I refreshed with that and I put in, this is another slight mix. This is the Oyen Handmade Whipped Pudding and the Comet Biologics Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee. So I use, I had it full to the top. As you can see, I use very, very little of it. And all I did is any place that where it felt kind of dry, so on my ends, the crown, my, my disrespectful, as another subscriber told me, my disrespectful 4B section right up and through here, kind of just put some stuff, some of this concoction on it. And I retwisted my hair and I used um, just a little bit, just a little bit of the Kinky Curly um, Curling Custard. And that was it. And of course, I buttered my ends. Um, I parted it to the side, and again, same same thing. Stretched it over, and I did not um, seal it with a bobby pin at the tips. Um, and that was pretty much what was in my hair. What's in my hair today? Again, I just refreshed it with my Oyen handmade Greg Juice mix, and that's it. Like this is gonna be it for um, another week another week I can get another week out of this um, as far as anything else that I have been using on my hair is an oil I am in the middle you guys know I do own my own natural hair care company but it is on hiatus right now but I am coming back um, I have been testing um, oils excuse the bottle the label it is in this bottle but if you purchase this oil before you know that it's not this yellow um, so this is a concoction that I whipped up has it has Ayurvedic oils and things like that in it but one of the key two ingredients in it is argan oil and um, camellia oil so it keeps my hair soft and shiny and I absolutely am in love with the oil mix that I'm coming up with and developing for my store so um, I don't want to talk too much about it because it's not ready yet and I test things thoroughly before I announce anything but hopefully it will make the cut and hopefully you guys would like it um, so yeah that's pretty much what has been in my hair um, for a week now and this is what's going to be my routine for the next week um i'm not going to put any more uncle funky's daughter's curly magic in my hair i'm only going to be refreshing with my oyen handmade greg juice my oyen handmade slash cocoa tree detangling ghee from comet biologics and um a little bit of this oil and that's it so and I actually my hair is pretty much set far as flat twisting I don't have to flat twist my hair anymore I would just do regular twists um, at night again I do low manipulation so I do everything very very slowly um, I just don't whip through my hair I don't like separate it to the tangles and stuff it does not knot up I have pretty much combated single strand knots for a very very long time I pretty much don't have any so um yeah I'm, I'm good I'm good to go and this is what's been in my hair for a week now and this is what's going to be in my hair for the next week so hopefully this information helped and I will talk to you guys later bye